game volume yeah what i'm gonna be doing when the game is officially out which is six days from now so yeah i will be showcasing my character designs i did wednesday adams and kim kardashian um i think this character creation might be one of the best character creations i've seen the only character creation that comes close to this would be cyberpunk because in cyberpunk you could do quite a lot of things in in that character creation and it was quite um it was quite detailed but um just a quick rundown i got two of my own personal pawns that i've made uh, a bestian female and a mage female along with a mage which will be wednesday adams levi ackerman from attack on titan And then we got one of the best creations I've made, I think, which is Battle Beast from Invincible. And then my Risen's. My own two personal Risen's and then Kim Kardashian. So we're going to go through both of these i i literally just made this is why um the character creation is so good i didn't even plan on making kim kardashian but i ended up making her through trying to make someone else if that makes sense so we'll Go through Wednesday Adams first. And I'll show you all the stats. Uh, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Um, so yeah, just as a quick reminder, I am streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Um, my Twitch is in the description of, of this. I think my camera's in the way. I put myself here for now. Yeah, so um the character creation is is fantastic. Like it's really good. And yeah, this is uh, the closest I can get to Wednesday Adams. Here we go. Uh, what else is this? Yeah, 
and it's definitely one of those character creations where if you spend a lot of a lot of time on it you will create really good characters which is why it's a good thing that they released this before the game launched even a a playable demo would be would have been great because i would love to see how these characters that we've made look in game itself but you take what you're given and i've said this before when companies game companies release demos um when game companies release demos we have to praise them we should praise them because they're brave enough to showcase their game before it even comes out so that is to be definitely noted so these are the stats for Wednesday Adams oh good thing I can just go through these so uh, you can watch this back and see the only thing is I can't I don't think I can remember well this is the base head 25 so there's that then there's the stats for everything else and yeah the only one of the things that i would want to know would be um i've made a calm mage this is how she will look i think this is so cool but one of the things I would want to know is when you have a main pawn created, like I've got five right now, can I um, for example bring her and her in the game with me or can I only bring one of these and then recruit others in the game? I hope that's not how it's going to be because I can't remember how it was in Dragon's Dogma 1. I think I think it is you get one main pawn and then you recruit other pawns. So that's that. But I hope with these I can just recruit all of these if if that's a doable thing. Um but yeah, that was Wednesday Adams and this is Kim Kardashian which I really like I really like how she came out it's not perfect but it is damn near good enough it is really good enough I think so yeah I might just make a short on this actually on youtube so i'll do that maybe even tiktok we'll, we'll see but um there we go kim kardashian damn I pressed the wrong thing but yeah so the game does come out in six days and um Apparently, it's been leaked already. But I haven't seen no leaks. But I want to talk about mainly what uh, I'm expecting from the game and what I aim to do. So, um... I'm going to start off with a thief and have a <laughs> I 
I'm gonna start with the thief and have an archer. No, a thief and a mage. But if I can have a thief, mage, and an archer, that'll be dope. Ideally, I would want my team. In fact, let me show you what the team I'm gonna start off with will be. So it's gonna be my first original main character that I created. I spent the most amount of time on this character. She's dope. So it'll be her who's a thief alongside this girl as the mage this girl this um bestian as an archer and then ideally him as the fighter that's the dream team i would want if i could have a fourth it would be myself as another archer here so it'll be two archers a mage and a fighter so that's the team and i'm just gonna be playing the game for the grind for the journey of the game the main story will will end up playing itself but um I just want the adventure because this is my kind of game from way back to playing games like Zelda Ocarina of Time, um, Shemu, Red Dead Redemption 2, Dragon's Dogma 1, Fantasy Star Online, and now Dragon's Dogma 2. So, um, base head is 20. So yeah. I'm I'm definitely gonna be treasure hunting and XP um experience building. I just wanna build up my XP significantly in the early part of the game. Because I like to mainly be overpowered in the beginning of the game. I want to get to a point where I'm just overpowered, really. And it, remind, it reminds me of when I was playing Dragon's Dogma 1. And... Um, I had one of my favorite gaming moments ever. Now, in gaming, it's only from time to time, time to time that you have, you know, standout moments, right? So for me, it was Resident Evil 6, um, playing in Leon's campaign, and then the big zombie burst through the wall. Like, that moment was, and we end up destroying the zombie, but that moment was dope, right? Then there was, um, in Modern Warfare 2, the early Modern Warfare 2, um, I got a ace in Search and Destroy on High Rise. That was basically five kills, basically five kills in a row with a sniper. Um, I think I might have only missed one shot, so it took six bullets, but that was one of the most epic moments I've had in gaming for me. But another epic moment I've had was in Dragon's Dogma 1, I was very underpowered and I went into a cave. I opened the gate that was within the cave, a really big door, and there was a cyclops. And the cyclops was clearly um, more powerful than I was and my team. So what ended up happening was 
my team ended up dying, but then I was still alive. The Cyclops got glitched in between the cave and the gate. So it was stuck. It couldn't it couldn't move out of the cave because it was still stuck within the cave. So it took a while, but I ended up killing it even though I was underpowered, right? And I ended up getting a Cyclops eye and some other um, loot. That was one of the best moments I've had in gaming. One of the best. Because that was just epic. That was like... That was just fun. Really fun. And I'm hoping to relive moments like that in this game. Dragon's Dogma 2. It's been 12 years. So, um... That is what I'm going to be aiming for. Just moments. Just playing the game and seeing what can come from it. I love everything about the game so far. I've already mentioned that this game has me the most hyped than any game in a long time. Like the last time I was this hyped for a game was Modern Warfare 3. And I wasn't really super, super hyped. I was just excited. This has got me hyped. Um, Mortal Kombat 1 had me hyped in the beginning for that as well. But this game has me the most excited. To the point that I've improved, uh, made improvements on my streaming setup. I'm starting to stream this again. I'm going to start making content. I will be making a video on how I will be using this. The DualSense Edge controller with the back buttons on Dragon's Dogma 2. So yeah. Just a short dual stream video. I wanted to kind of test things out. Watch it back and see how it is. But yeah. This was Kim Kardashian's. This was Kim Kardashian's character creation. If you want it. Here it is. And I will catch you in the next video. Layer.